Oh, <laughs> that's a key. Eh, yeah, well, I mean, they may never make a Nintendo 64 classic, but it all could just be a matter of time, you know? Because the NES, or Super Nintendo even, came out 80... I think it came out in 89, did it? And then, you know, however many years later, we get the classic, so maybe they're setting a time precedent. Pres I did not see the PS1 classic. Couldn't even think of, uh... I'd imagine uh, people get that for Final Fantasy VII. Even though you could get that on any PlayStation, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> it has Metal Gear! I didn't even think... Oh man, I don't play Metal Gear again. I was just thinking when we were talking, we were talking about something. I was like, man, I'd want to stream that game. Can't oh, Diablo 2. I kind of want to stream Diablo 2. I think it'd be fun. Even though. See, I never played Rainbow. I played a Rainbow Six on Xbox 360. And it was like, maybe it wasn't Rainbow Six. It took place in Las Vegas. But it was really fun. My roommate in college and I played it because it was co-op. And it was really cool because it was like tactical and you uh, like control the squad and since it was in Vegas there's a lot of skyscrapers and you like grappled down from the roof and like broke through windows and stuff. But you like planned it out so like you took out all the guys by the window and then broke through. It was, it was a fun game. A Resident Evil one, yeah. Uh, Twisted Metal. Um, I always wanted to try, there's a newish Twisted Metal that came out. I think it was for PlayStation 3, but it uh, it looked like a lot of fun. I was never into Twisted Metal because, to be honest, it looked like garbage back in the day, but it looks fun to play in general. Did I go down here? Do I need to go down here? Should I just... might as well go down here. Well, let's clear out the bottom th floor. Looks like that's what we're doing anyway. <laughs> Dang. Oh, is this the one... Yeah, I think this is... I need the long shot. Yeah, those were the days, man. I remember. Because um, we had... We had... Uh, I, I grew up with the Nintendo systems, and then I'd go over to your house and you'd have the PlayStation. I think that's the first time I ever knew about the PlayStation was playing at your house. Like Armored Core. Remember Armored Core? Do you remember staying up late, playing RPG Maker, trying to make an RPG? And then, like, by the time it got to beyond, like, making items and creating characters, we got sick of it. Because <laughs> I remember that. What? How am I going to raise the water again? Oh, hookshot. Duh. <laughs> I had the item in my hand. I forgot how the water temple worked for a second. Uh, the hell? Oh, here we go. Um, they do make R more RPG makers. Unfortunately, they're all for computer, which makes sense. I actually prefer that because <clears throat> once upon a time, I I think it was during high school, um, I spent hours building an RPG, and like I was down to the point. Where did I get stuck? I was doing like the storied events like you get to an area and story would happen <clears throat> I got up to like the final boss area like the final level of the game Ran out of memory because the memory is built into the game like you can't just like Add more memory from like a memory card or something like the memory they give you in the game is all you got And so I ran out of space and I was like so set on finishing this RPG. I was so proud of it I was so mad. I still have it though. I think I own. I think I still have the. I should have the memory card still. But I own RPG Maker still. I think I got it from Bookman's. Good old Bookman's. <clears throat> this this live stream is sponsored by Bookman's. I feel like I missed. So oh, I was supposed to play the song. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> Why am I getting so uh, I'm reminiscing? Too many fond memories. I think that's also when I first 
I never beat Final Fantasy 7. But I'm pretty sure I saw the ending at your house. You had like beaten it and you showed off the ending. And that was the only one first and only time I saw the ending for Final Fantasy 7. And then ever since I'd play the game, get to freaking Sephiroth, find out I didn't have Knights of the Round, and just gave up. <laughs> that sounds like you. Well, it's not like you like were tricking me or something. Like, hey, check this out. Then show me the ending. Like, I'm pretty sure you said like, hey, I beat the game. You want to see it? And I'm like, sure. I don't know why I said sure, but I forgot how the ending went anyway. <clears throat> Some about Zach giving Tiffa a motorboat or something. I don't know. That's what I remember. <laughs> Pre-teen Cameron. You son of a gun. <laughs> Um, I remember, I think it was only because I was lost, but I remember thinking you can get something if you go in the hole these baddies fall from. Nah, I was wrong. Okay. It must have been me being lost in this dungeon trying to figure out where the last key was, thinking you can find one in there or something. Can't believe I'm doing the water temple. Have I even found anything useful yet? I mean, I'm, I'm getting through it, at the very least, so... Oh, well. Let's, uh... It's probably another key. Yeah, I think, again, I, I've, I've mentioned this. I don't know if you were on when I was bringing this up, but, uh... Well, there you go. <laughs> the reason to do the Water Temple. Um, I found a lot of randomly generated seeds tend to not make you do the water temple and I theorized it was because most of the chests in the temple are for keys so you're not going to get any like items that are useful outside of the game um speaking of what can I do with that song of time oh fire temple fire temple I needed the song of time block moved damn as if and also, speaking of as if, this area, did it show it? I think it did, you know. When I played the song, did it show the hole down here? I know it showed the block rays, but I don't know if it showed the hole that you can go down. Because in the 3DS version, I'm pretty sure they added a camera. Like, it sh when you play the song, it shows the water rays, and it sh has an added video of... The camera going down that hole to show you yeah it didn't show the hole okay yeah the 3ds version it totally shows the hole it's like hey you dummies remember playing this back in the 90s hey until i can go down this hole idiots nintendo is very condescending don't know why <laughs> um but yeah so I, that blew my mind because I, I remember that being one of the times or one of the many times I got lost in this temple was because I didn't think to check that hole or that area in general. It's not the most obvious location, right? Oh great, if this is the thing I needed the long shot for, I'm not going to remember where I was for that. Oh no, this is... I got this ready, didn't I? Do I have a key? Shoot, I don't have a key and I don't know what else I can do. Oh my god. I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> God, I just remembered why everybody hates this temple. Ow, I stepped on the spikes. I must be able to... Hey, there's gotta be somewhere I can go. They don't leave me without a key I can get. Paper Mario Color Splash. Which one's Color Splash? 
I don't have a key. Can't do that. I really like the Paper Mario games, yeah. It's really, really solid. Solid games. Oh, it's the Wii U one? Oh, okay. Uh, play, haven't played that one. There's one on the 3DS. Maybe it's just the DS. I really liked, even though they changed the battle system, um, I think it was called Sticker Star. Um, apparently everybody else hates it, but I loved it. But you basically, you collect stickers, and those are your attacks. And so you kind of go around the open world, like, collecting these stickers, and you use them in fights. It was fun. I liked it. Like, yeah, I like the, I like the aesthetic of Paper Mario games. They're very fun. Um, yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm not stuck. No. Goonies never say die. You paint cards to attack in that one, huh? Interesting. Actually, how am I going to get out of this temple? <laughs> going to have to play a song, I guess. Um, if I could find a way to get out of here without doing that, though, that'd be great because I can actually cheat the system. Because I have the Scarecrow song, remember? And that does play a role in this. I got new songs, that's sure. True. That's, that's sure? That's for sure. Um, how do I get out of this temple, though? Oh! Second water level. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I think of this? Here we go. I don't know what's gonna get me, but if it's a key, then... It is on the second level, right? Okay, good. Yeah, that is definitely a chest, and this is definitely a very obvious bombable wall. <laughs> Gotta be said. It is very confusing. I've never been able to wrap my head around it. Plus, I don't have a compass for it. I couldn't find the stupid compass for the stupid water temple. It's not a key. Alright, we're done here. <laughs> Dang. Um, I could... I guess the only way to raise it to the top is to... Play that song. Wait a second. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Oops. Did I try? I don't think I tried very hard. It's waffling on about something. But I might be able to reach the third floor. I should be able to reach the third floor. Here. I don't know why I didn't try it very hard, because I don't think there's there's no door to reach it on the top floor. That's why I meant by third floor. I'm confusing myself now. Um, I don't think I tried very hard, because I'm pretty sure you should be able to get up. Uh, long shot. Really? Oh, damn it. So many things that require the long shot, I just don't remember having to do. Okay. Well, it's not going to be quick by any means. But I do want to try something in this water temple before we call it a write-off for the second time. Well, I, I mean, I actually got something out of it this time, so maybe write-off is the wrong word. Left, right, right, A, left, right, down. Okay. Damn it. How much you miss items? Well, like, sentimentally, like, man, I really wish I had this right now. Or, like, 
because um, I know a, a lot. I've seen people playing uh, Ocarina of Time. A lot of times it's like, oh, they never got you know X item. They never got the hammer or something, and here they're killing Ganon. It's weird. I want to see what this guy has to say. Kakariko Village is on the way of the hero, whatever the hell that means. I need magic. <gasps> Fairy fountains! I already forgot about the great fairies. Also... <gasps> oh! I didn't even mean to do this. This is another thing you need Zell's Lullaby for. <laughs> oh my god, you went through five temples without a sword and went to the past? That's hardcore, man. Pat yourself on the back for that one. I thought killing Phantom Ganon with a broken sword was badass. <laughs> oh, I need the dense fire. <sighs> Weird. I guess you can attack with a hammer in that game, huh? Oh, I don't need dense fire. Okay. Apparently I need it for something else. I really wish I had a magic meter. Uh, uh, it does hurt you, okay. Screw you. Ow. Walking in zombie juice. Aw, oh, yeah. Lay it on me, baby. Wait, what? Uh, oh, I have to check it. Da 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 da! Uh, wait. I really wish I didn't know that the 50 skull to the reward is dumb. I'd be way more excited right now. Yeah. Man. I'd get so lost if I had to do the randomizer in that game. I mean, I'd get lost if I was playing it without a randomizer. It's very little I remember. I remember I had a DS. No, maybe it's just Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it's just Game Boy Advance version of Link to the Past. And uh, I beat it, and at the end, it gave you a total of how many times you died. And I was like, will it give me do something special if I never died? And so I tried again, like from scratch, without dying. And I like died at the first temple. I'm like, nah, it's, it's too much work. <laughs> Stupid statues, man. Kill me. Um, do I have anything else to do here before I... No. Oh. Uh, I'll check that later, Fire Temple thing. I know, I, I, I want to check uh, Water Temple again. Because I want to try something. I didn't think I'd hit a dead end, but I guess I, uh, guess I did. <laughs> ah, how'd you get over there? You silly horse. Oh my god. Another great thing about not doing the Poe mission. Oh, actually, I got him. <laughs> it's like, there's no way I'd be able to do that. I think the worst thing about doing the big Poe's is finding them, because they pop up randomly around Hyrule Field, and it's such a pain in the ass. Really? Why'd you stop, Epona? Don't I treat you right, girl? Yeah, I never did either. Um, one of the my biggest pet peeves playing the 3DS version. I was loving everything else, you know, trying to 100% the game, but then I got to the big Poe thing, and I was like, this is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> just stopped being fun all of a sudden. Riding your opponent around Tyrell Field. 
for hours on end trying to find that last stupid big po. Okay. Check out how crafty I am. Well, it's going to be a while, but you'll see. I always wondered why there's a <coughs> scarecrow in this temple. Oh, apparently it was so you can use them in the randomizer <laughs> years later. And now that's not what I want. There we go. Oh! The water stays there? Oh crap. How... Do I... The water stays there. That blows my mind. Well, shoot, maybe I can't do this then. Because I think that locked door is what leads you to this area up here. But I could use the Scarecrow song! Ah. Okay, I think I can do this. I know I could hookshot that, but it'll just drop me. Gonna make it! Ugh, I didn't make it. Oh! Thanks for not lying on me, buddy. Now you die. Well, crap. How do I... Do I just reset the game? Well, that's lame. I'm gonna reset the game, I guess. Oh, first. Or should I not save? Or would it not count the fact that I got songs? I'm gonna save. <laughs> and... Uh, soft reset. Feels dirty. I gotta know. I gotta be sure that whatever I can do. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, come on. How the hell else am I supposed to? Because I can't. I really hope the water temple's uh, useless. From here on out because without getting another key I'm kind of stuck dang that sucks hey uh. Yeah, maybe we should move on. I got a lot of other options. It just sucks that I can't uh, go about this one. So, Fire Temple again? Oh, you know what? I had the saw this whole time. I didn't even go talk to the carpenters about it. Too bad I can't leave the dungeon now. <laughs> I have a boss key. So that's cool. Yeah, I think Fire Temple's the way to be. I'm gonna reset again, just because I don't want to play a song. Um, because I want to tr wait, why did I want to play the song? Oh, so I could talk to the, uh, Carpenter. Who's on this side of the world. Yeah, I just couldn't remember why I wanted a soft reset. <laughs> I thought I was just going crazy. Yeah, 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 Lonk. That's my name. I'm pretty sure the saw goes to the carpenter. Can't think of anybody else the saw would go to. I think if I follow that whole thing through, I'll get the uh, eye drops. <laughs> oh, man. The used. Um, I don't have we ever discussed their uh, well, at least it was new, like in the early 2000s. No, whenever I was working at Hastings, there was apparently a new album, and I tried listening to it. 
I don't know. It wasn't... It was a bit too poppy. Especially for the used. It seems kind of lame. But I don't know if we ever discussed that, if you've listened to any new albums by them. Oh yeah, well Taste of Ink was their first one. It's classic. Produced by the singer for Goldfinger. So that's a thing. Yeah, I liked Taste of Ink. I liked In Love and Death was their second one. Uh, Lies for the Liars was the third one. But apparently after that, it got... Uh, they changed... Used to be about the music, man. No. Oh, yeah, the Aquabats. Nice. Well, yeah, the Aquabats are amazing. I got to see them live, finally. They're hilarious live. They're so good. Their singer's got to be, like, in his 40s, but he did the freaking backflip off the bass drum. It's the best thing I've seen in my life. Oh, come on, Epona. Seriously? Okay. Hey, you. Ah, hey. oh, yeah, Ska Boss. The Ska Boss? Who's the Ska Boss? Me, you silly. Ta-da! It looks like... Oh. I heard you saved my men and returned to build this bridge. Many wimpy carpenters got together to get the job done. Yeah, a lot of people don't know what Ska music is. I guess you could say Ska is dead, but I refuse to believe that. Right, yeah, Aquabats are Ska. Um, no, I don't want to race. Apparently that race is BS. There's no score to beat. You can get a zero and he'll not give you anything for it. Um... It is, unfortunately, but there's still bands that perform, so. i say it's still around if there's still bands that play that genre, you know? No one likes brass instruments anymore, yeah, basically. You know, I, I would theorize, I would call disco officially dead, because you can't, like, go to a concert and someone will be playing disco, you know? Like, there's no disco bands anymore that tour. You know, so Ska, like, those bands are still around, you know, just because <clears throat> back when they're teenagers or in their, you know, early 20s and 30s, they were popular, doesn't mean they're not still going to play, you know. <laughs> Glad this goes dead. Yeah. Yeah, same here, man. I did not realize the Bee Gees were brothers. Did you know that the band the Bee Gees are three brothers? Did not know that. So what the hell? Where does the saw go to? Look that up. <laughs> Write that down. I, no, actually, don't tell me. <laughs> Your mom listened to disco music? Nice. I know she listened to a lot of R&B. That's how I knew what R&B was, was listening to music your mom listened to. <sighs> Dang it. Where does the frickin' saw go to? It seems like it should be obvious. Yeah, the Bee Gees. I think they're three brothers. And I think their last name is Bee Gee. Maybe that's not true. <laughs> I think the Bee Gees is just a name. I think it's a play on their last name. Maybe. Maybe their last name is Bee Gee. Um, just sounds silly to me. Well, yeah, the Ramones are brothers. Um... Uh, I don't know if you've are familiar with Tegan and Sarah. They're apparently sisters. I thought they were lesbian lovers. It's a little it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> that conversation. I was like, oh yeah, the lesbians are like Yeah? <laughs> like, aren't they? Aren't they in love? And they're like, no, they're related. I'm like, what? <laughs> Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's how it is. Um, where am I going? Death Mountain, Fire Temple. Okay. I, <laughs> I thought they were too. I don't know. <laughs> I think they are lesbians, just not attracted to each other. Because that'd be incestuous. Or at least one of I don't know. What does it matter? What's the matter? Never mind. 
What's a mind? Doesn't matter. I think I got that backwards. What do I know right now? What do I have? Song of Time. Fairies! The great- f I keep forgetting about the great fairies. Okay, there's at least two up here. I'm pretty- pretty damn skippy. There's two up here. Do I talk to Tegan and Sarah? No. I mean, I- there is- uh, I talked to somebody who was a fan of theirs, or like knew their music. And, uh, that's how that conversation came about. Unless you were talking about... Wait, did we know a Sarah in high school? Because I know we knew a Tegan in high school. Oh, crap! <laughs> I must have known a Sarah. I just can't remember. Too many ladies. High school, man. All the ladies. is a blur. <laughs> Come on! I don't know why Link cannot jump here. I have such a hard time. <laughs> uh. The goddamn saw. You think one of the carpenters in uh, Kakariko? Take the saw? Maybe? <laughs> I just don't know why I, like, it felt so right that the saw would go to the Gerudo Valley Carpenters. I just don't know anybody else who would use a saw. Except for the guys that upgrade your uh, sword and Link to the Past. So that's a completely different game altogether. Yeah, I think it was this stone, actually, that told me. You know, I saw him... I must have been a couple of years ago. Um, and we said, like, it was just by chance. Like, we were both hanging out at the same bar. And, uh... Oh, Proof of Destruction. Proof of Destruction apparently means Skulltula tokens. I didn't get it when I first uh, read it, but it makes sense when you think about it. <clears throat> um, but, uh, yeah, we talked for, like, a really long time, and then, uh, we were like, yeah, we should hang out sometime, and then, you know how that goes. <laughs> I, I tend to, uh, be surrounded by friends who are flaky. I mean, I'm flaky, too. I'm flaky as hell, but it sucks, because it's like, you have those conversations where it's like, yeah, let's hang out, and then it's like, you know, like, it's not gonna happen. You want it to, but it's just... Who has time? I mean, apparently I do, because I'm playing Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Uh, heart container. Okay, sweet. Then there's the other one down here. Hey, you. Tell me where the sock goes. Because I'm at a loss. thought I knew everything about this game. Turns out I know shit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Need the fire tunic. Which is good that we're going to the fire temple too, because, uh, yeah, two fairies. Ah, oh, dang it. It's too many. It's funny that I can't, I don't, I apparently refuse to get rid of my bow. Because I've switched out only those two slots <laughs> so far and not bothered switching out the bow. Can I make that jump? Do I need to go to Goron City? Okay. Thank Christ.
Do fairy fountains have different music? Because I'm pretty sure these are different for each one. Maybe not. <laughs> the dog's still sleeping. Oh my God, it's snoring. Hey, look at that. 